Hi guys, we're back with the fitness cousins. Um, I haven't been to the gym in two weeks, so he's nice. winning. Look at that progress though. Show them your progress. They haven't seen before, they don't know. Go back. Look at him. He's drinking his water while we were partying. Thank you. He's almost there, guys. Yeah. He did yeah. it. He's about to be the next fitness influencer. So. Hi, guys. I'm going to say that I'm proud of Jose. He's my favorite person of all time. He works so hard for everything. Else. Look at him. He's a great person overall. Love him. Bye, subscribe. You what? Hey, what's up guys? So welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Jose Chica. I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. It is International Women's Day, so Happy day to all you ladies out there. You guys are amazing. But I'm currently outside here about to go do my outside workout. And I brought you guys to just the the place I always have been coming here for like over a year now. It's called um, JJ Yellow Park. And this is pretty much like my sanctuary, man. I've been, like I said, it's been over a year since I've been coming here. And I don't know, it's like home. Yeah, so today's day 50 and excited to show you guys my progress so far. My new weight, which is always the most exciting part for me because my hair is so long. Okay, so it's minute 37, my outside workout. I always run or do sprints for 20 minutes after I walk for 20 minutes. It's getting to that time where I'm getting tired. So I kinda just wanna show you guys what goes in my head, what I'm thinking, whenever I get, you know, to a point where I just wanna stop because I'm tired. So, I'm just gonna tell you what goes on my head. And it's pretty raw, but it's very real. And I feel like it can help a lot of people. So, whenever I feel like I'm tired, it's gonna be hard with me running. I use everything that has been said against me. All the people who made fun of me when I moved to the States because I didn't know English. All the people who made fun of me because I was overweight. I used all my insecurities when I couldn't fit in the clothes. When I had trouble going up the stairs because I was running out of breath. When I couldn't, you know, take my shirt off because I was at the beach or like or something. I think of all the people that took advantage of me. I just use all that to drive me. And this energy, the grit, it just comes out of nowhere. Um, so you get to a point where none of that shit owns you. You own all of it. And it brings the most, you know, peace of mind. And that's priceless. Yeah, it's crazy. I just own all of it and now it doesn't own me. And I use all my insecurities to drive me forward. I hope I explain that okay. And then also, behind me, I think of my family, my friends, my support system cheering me on. Even though I can't see them, they're fake cheerleaders. Um, I visualize them and picture that in my head and man, makes a huge difference. Real quick, I was gonna say, if, if you have if you don't have like a, a family or friends or like a support system, I'm gonna throw my name out there, man. I support you, I believe in you, and I'm rooting for you. But yeah, let's go weigh ourselves. About to finish this last five minutes. Let's go, week seven results. All right guys, Tuesday weigh-in. Um, it is Tuesday obviously <laughs> it is day 50 to 75 hard there boy cheeks all right 254.2 let's go
another step closer to 200 pounds and I'm just gonna go over my week seven results like I always do with you guys. So, last week I was, oh yeah, check out the new March board. Looks so clean, so nice. Um, so okay, so week seven, so last week I was 257.8 and so I weighed myself earlier this morning, it was 254.2. So that's at 3.6 pounds lost. And the total weight I've lost since the start of this 75 part journey since I started YouTube is 28.6 pounds. All in all, um, the stuff is working. I feel super, super proud. I'm almost at 30 pounds and I'm almost in the 240s. So <laughs> let's go. And another thing I wanna talk about is, so I've been working on staying present. So most of the times, you know, and especially now how I'm, you know, trying to lose weight, I always think about the future a lot. So it's like, oh my God, am I gonna get this? Am I gonna reach, you know, the 200? And I start kind of like overthinking, kind of freaking out. And I've been really working on just staying present. So what can I do today? What is in my control to get me to, you know, my goal to 200 pounds? So that's what I've really been focusing on, just staying present, doing what I can every day to get me there. You're, you're gonna stop overthinking. And I, I read this quote the other day and it was, it said overthinking is a waste of your imagination. And I was like, damn, that is some deep-ish. But yeah guys, staying present is key, 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 key during this because it, you have to be extremely, extremely patient. So what I'm trying to tell you is stop dwelling in the past and stop thinking, worrying about the future. Worry about what you can do today to get you to set up for your future. So stop it. <laughs> Don't go in the past. Don't worry about the future. Worry about right now. What's going on now? What can you do now? That's the present. Stay present. But yeah, I'll be back next week. So week eight with my results like always. And once again, I can't thank you guys enough. I love you guys. I hope you find some something positive out of my videos, out of what I'm saying, because um, I I really just want to help, man. Like I keep saying it, but I'll see you guys next week. I hope you guys have a fantastic week, March, you know, day, whole nine. Let's go. Road to 200 continues. Your boy Jose Chica.